welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to apply lashes easy and quickly, teach you the tools that you need and the steps that you need to do so. So if you're interested or wanna know how to apply lashes quick and easy, then go ahead and keep watching. All right, guys, so we are gonna get into applying lashes so the tools that you're going to need are going to be lashes you're going to need scissors you can use the tinier scissors if you would like but in my room this is what we have you're going to need tweezers something to grab and then you're going to need mascara you're also going to need eyelash glue don't forget that <laughs> So I clearly almost did. My favorite lashes are Arzell lashes. Just because you can find them anywhere, they're relatively inexpensive and they're easy to use. They have like a lot of different options too. And just know that like the more like voluminous or the bigger they are, the thicker the band, the harder they're going to be to maneuver and put on your eyes. So I would go with more like Demi Wispies or Wispies. These are the Demi Wispies, by the way. I have, that's what I have here. So you get your lashes. Now, most people don't know this, um, and you might, you might not know this, but these are set up exactly how they should go on your eyes. So this is your right eye, this is your left eye. When you're looking at it, this is your left eye, this is your right eye. And they do that on purpose, just so it's easier for you to understand. Now, I do not pull my lashes off. I know some people do, but you can really, really rip into your lashes that way and mess up the band. So I lightly tug on the lashes themselves because they come with adhesive to stick to that plastic. And then boom, the lash isn't bent. And then there it goes. If you get pretty cheap lashes, you're going to run into an issue where sometimes they're flat and not bent. So like if you look here, this is bent. See how it's like bent in a half moon? Where if they're pretty inexpensive, like cheaper ones from like drugstores or not drugstores, like Dollar Tree or something, they're gonna get more flat. So you're gonna wanna wrap them around like a pencil or like a makeup brush just to let them round out a little bit because the rounder, the better. Before I put any glue on them when they're new and I will measure them to my eye. And just so you know, not every person's eye shape is the same. This one actually fits me beautifully and I don't even have to cut it. I was definitely planning on cutting this one, but it literally fits me beautiful. So you wanna make sure it goes from the end of your lashes up until here. You don't want it to go here, it's gonna stab you. You do not want it to hang over your lash line on the outside because then it's gonna give you a droopy eye. If it does wind up being too big, which I usually have an issue with, so like I'm very, it would be the video of me teaching you guys how to put on lashes where this lash is like perfect. But what you're going to do is you're going to just cut a little piece or however much you need off of the outside, never the inside, because that is just perfectly tapered for your inner eye. So it's lifted enough. If you cut that off, then you're just really not gonna have that definition of the lash because the small tapered part is gonna be gone. You're just gonna have that. So always the outside. I feel like that's why they give you extra over there. So the first thing I do, if I get my lash glue, my favorite lash glue is Salon Perfect. And this, it's the white one. They have white lash glue. They have clear lash glue. They have black lash glue. So I put a little bit here. Never, never squeeze it on here. Way too much. You put way too much lash glue on and you've ruined that lash. That it just is what it is. So I hold it with the tweezers, make sure your hands are clean, and I just dab some onto my finger, and I make sure the ends are coated because that is where your lashes tend to lift the most. Like I really, really, really coat the ends, and then I just go over just slightly over the band. You just have to let them get tacky. You don't want to put them directly on your eye. Yes, they're easier to move around, but the problem is with you doing that, you like it's it's not tacky so it's not gonna stick and it's gonna make a mess you can do it that way if you're in a hurry you're gonna see the glue on your eyelid you're going to most definitely have a mess because you're moving it all around but when it's tacky it just kind of places there so you can uh, move it around and maneuver it a little bit better so you're gonna take the mascara and um, I do say do this fairly fast because you want those to be tacky but you don't want the glue to dry so I put mascara on first just a nice little coat 
you don't have to go too crazy because you're gonna put it on again but I put it on the top lashes and I'm also gonna put it on the bottom lashes because I have not put it on yet and they have like bottom lashes they're like single lashes you add and they can be really cute I don't like how it looks on me I've tried them so I just go with a little bit more of the classic look just the top lashes and I will mascara the crap out of my bottom ones you know you know. All right, so now that we have that on, we're gonna give that a second. Okay, so you'll know that this is tacky when it's starting to become translucent. So once that's done, you're going to place the lash with the tweezers right in the middle of your eye. And then you're going to maneuver where you want the inner corner and then where you want the outer corner. Again, you do not want any drooping. And you're gonna put it as close to that lash line as possible. Be careful not to put it on your lashes because when you take them off, it's gonna hurt. So you can tell that my glue was still a little wet because it does show the white glue. So just be mindful of that. So I just make sure that it's held down. Again, no drooping. And you also wanna make sure you're not gluing your lashes right here to your bottom lid. Done that. Been there, I promise you, lashes were not my friend a couple years ago. So the reason that I squeeze them and the reason I say use tweezers is because you don't want to stab yourself in the eye, at least with tweezers, you can really be precise and know like, okay, I'm not stabbing myself in the eye where your fingers are kind of chunky, so it's not as precise. So I always say you tweezers, but if you look here, it's just perfectly aligned. And again, I do the inner, I place it in the middle, I do the inner, and then I align the outside because the outside can kind of be a little bit more messy and you can't really tell whereas if you put the inner corner on the wrong part or you don't bring it over enough because you outlined the outside first that one can kind of look a little silly and then we're going to do the same thing with this eye and i understand believe me it's a little bit harder with your other hand because you're blocking your entire view. So we do our inner, just align that with our lash line, push, push. And when I say push, I don't mean like, you know, tear your eyes off or anything, don't like stab yourself. And then let that sit for a second and align the end. Sometimes it'll pop up just like this did. And again, just lifting that end because you do not want drooping. With wispies, they're not as bad. Um, however, if you have like a more thick lash, like a thicker band, and you put them too low on the outside, oh gosh, it really drags your eye down and you really look like you have droopy eyes. So after you give it a few seconds um, to let the glue just really sit and do its thing, I go back in with my mascara and I just give it a little shimmy. I usually just do this on the ends. You can go on the lash itself if you would like, but I usually just do this on the ends or on the tips of my real ones just to blend it. So what this is gonna do is basically stick your real lashes to the fake lashes so there are no gaps because if you've seen someone who has lashes that they did not put it on all the way. You'll see the gaps between the fake lash and the real lash, and you don't want that. And now I go in with the tweezers again. I know they have lash like applicators, but I just use tweezers, and I look like I have it down here so I can see under my eye. Like, don't go on blind doing this. And I just squeeze them with the mascara still being kind of tacky and push them up like this. Like this is the whole, like I'll hold the tweezer and push and push and push and push. So what that does is it squeezes basically. The mascara is also tacky, so it helps hold them in place. And those suckers aren't going nowhere. I've worn these, I've worn lashes in the wind. Sometimes though, if it gets crazy windy, like I'll be like, oh, it's taking my lashes up. It is taking them up. So that is it guys for today's video on how to apply lashes quick and easy. Like I said, just make sure you pick a lash that has a very thin band, very wispy, very light at first until you learn and figure out how to do it. Once you get used to it and once you know how to do it properly and like so much faster, you can kind of explore different bands. They do come in a bunch of different sizes. I have super full lashes to just very natural, beautiful lashes but I do find that the natural light ones are much easier to apply and just remember work from the inner out 
out so you don't mess up your inner eye. Make sure you're not pulling it down too far so it's not droopy and let your glue get tacky. I know a lot of people are usually in a rush but the reason that they're not sticking or the reason you're having trouble with them is because you're not letting it get tacky. You have to let it get tacky. You can blow on it if you want to. I know makeup artists are gonna kill me for that advice, but you can blow on it if you want to. Just make sure it gets tacky. You have to make sure you it's sticking because the problem is when it's wet, it's just pulling around. You want it to be sticking. Use your mascara before and after and use your tweezers to press and squeeze. Like I know it seems really easy when you watch these and it seems really easy when you think about the steps, but I too started and it was, it was awful, okay? I had an awful time putting on lashes. But the more I've tried, the more I've wore them, the better I've gotten. So just make sure you're practicing. Even if you're not going anywhere, just keep practicing putting it on in your steps that you need to do. And eventually you'll be able to do it without even thinking like, oh my gosh, a year ago, I couldn't put lashes on worth anything. So I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it helped you out. Make sure you let me know down below what your favorite lashes are or the ones that you really wanna try to use. And as always guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel Channel. I do five videos a week and one blooper video every Saturday and I will see you on the next one. Bye!